Hey guys, it is Christine. Welcome to another video here on my channel. Today, Annie and I, this is my daughter Annie. How old are you, Annie? Five. You're five. Annie is five and she is doing the Label K Math from... You want to say hi? You can say hi. Uh, and this is my sister Charlie. This is Charlie. She's what, three. You're three. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so Charlotte is three, and she just tags along. Yeah. Um, so she is going to be playing in the background while we're doing our math lesson today. So Annie's doing the level K from the Good and the Beautiful. Jack did level one last year, and we really enjoyed it. He did their old level K, um, and did a bit of their new level one and their old level one. So. Mm -hmm. We've had a bit of all sorts. So this curriculum, I've got the PDF version here. Um, I did pay for this, but I believe it's going to be free very soon. They're going to be making all their level K um, right through. PDFs are going to be free to download and also their language arts, their new language arts coming out. I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will correct me. Um, but I did pay for this, but I printed it at home. Um, and very happy with how that came out. And then I did go ahead and purchase all of their manipulative boxes because I knew I'd be using this for all my kids. So this is the level K one. It's got, I'll show you inside, yeah. So it's got these little cars in here which have got numbers on them. It's got some dice here. They have numbers and then they've got different math signs on them. You've got little like game pawns and counting sticks. So. They, you do use it a lot in the book, but not for every lesson. And I don't actually think it calls for it, this lesson. So, yeah. So, we are going to go ahead and do a lesson. And you can follow along with us and see what a lesson looks like. I have really enjoyed this curriculum this year. Um, it's sweet and quick and very good at teaching. So, let's get started. So, Annie, can you count from 60 to 70? Start with 60. So, 60. 60. 60. What comes after 60? 61. 62. 63. 64. 65. 66. 67. 68. 69. 70. 70. So, very good. So, Annie's working on her counting at the moment and this is what I like in these books it's got this little section at the top here hold on I'll wait for it to focus it wants to like ah, be too bright there we go um so this is a section where they there's items here where they may need to practice if they don't need like if they've mastered these concepts they don't have to do it but um it's just a good reminder to practice them if they do need to still work on it so Annie's working on her counting Annie I need you to please <laughs> Go ahead and trace over these numbers. See? Okay. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. I want you to trace over those. Okay, I'm just going to go do something real quick. Good girl. All right, what is a number line, Annie? Do you know? Look here. It is a visual display of the positions of numbers in order. It helps us to see how they relate. Look at the frog on the number line below. See the frog? He's jumping from line to line and counting the numbers. Can you hop along the number line from number 1 to 19? Count as you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19, well done. How many hops would the frog have to take to get from number one to six? How many times would he have to hop to get from one to six? Count how many times, put your finger on there. Go one, one. Two, so go like this, go one, one two, three, four, four, five. So how many times did he hop? He started at one, one. we go one. Hold on, let me just push up. How many hops would the frog have to take to get from number one to number six? So don't count, don't count these numbers. You're gonna count how many hops he makes. So put your finger on number one. Okay. Put your finger on number one, and we're gonna to get to number six. So let's count his hops. One, one two, three, four, five. So how many hops did he make? 
Five. He made five hops. Very good. How about from number six to 19? Start on number six and count the hops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Did six. Okay, so hold on. No, no, no. We're going from number six to 19. So 19 all the way there. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So how many hops did he make? Thirteen. You can use a number line to find the distance between numbers. For each box below, see? Okay, for each box below, find the green number on the number line and then hop two more spaces. So what number is that? What number is that? Five. Okay, so find five on the number line. Oh, no, on the number line. Oh. This is the number line. So where's five? Now you're going to hop two more spaces. Hop two, one, two. <gasps> what number did you land on? Th what? No, no, no. You hopped two spaces. You were there and you went one, two. So what number is that? Nine. Not nine. What's that one? Six. That's six. That's seven. seven. Okay, so you need to write seven on there, okay? Can you take this? On what? Right, okay. and above the five. <laughs> okay. All right, and then start on 15, and you're going to hop two spaces and then write the number that you land on, okay? So where's 15? Mm -hmm. On the number line. Find 15 on this number line. Okay, mm -hmm. hold on. Let's put this down because this is distracting you. This. Okay, now look here. This is 15. You need to find that on the number line. <laughs> okay, now hop two spaces. Two. What number is that? Do you remember? 19. Not 19. This is what a 9 looks like, honey. Oh. Okay, 17. Okay, so write 17 up there. Yeah, good job. Okay, hold on. Can I just show you something? Can I show you something? Look which way 7 goes. It goes that way. Okay. What is this? Alright, so we write 7 like that. You need a new pencil. Yeah. Okay, write the one next to it. Mom, it's... It's in the box in here. Oh, okay, I'll grab it. All right, what number is this one? What number is this one, Annie? What's that number? <laughs> Come on, think about it. I don't know. 10. It's 10. Oh. Okay, find 10 on the number line and hop two spaces. Go. One, two. All right, what number is that? That's 10, 11. Wait, it needs a one here. Yes, but honey, we're doing it up here. So that's 11, so that is 12. Okay, so write 12. Swoop, swoop. Swoop. Well done. Okay, so find this number. What's this number? Two. Okay, find two. Now hop two spaces. Two. What number did you land on? Four. Okay, write four down. Yeah. Okay, now 17. Find 17 on the number line and jump two spaces. Wait. Jump two spaces. We did it two times. No, you didn't. You did 15 and you ended up on 17. So now I'll start on 17 and jump two spaces. Go. One, two. Okay, what number did you land on? 19. 19. Well done. Oh. Mm. Okay, good job. Okay, now we flip on to the other Where's page. It? Drink. So in level K, it's almost always two pages. Sometimes it's only one page. It's a, one page. I don't think I've ever come across it being three pages long. So we've done half the lesson already. So this is the other half. All right, there are hidden numbers in the picture below. Look closely and try to find numbers one through nine and circle them. So circle number one. Circle it when you find it. Good job. Circle that one. What else have you got? Nine. Yep. Yeah. It's Four, easy. Six. Eight. What's that one? Five. What's that one? Three, two. Did you get them all? One, two. Count three, them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well done. Okay. The frog is hopping across the lily pads below. What lily pad did he start on? Point to it and say first. Which one did he start on, do you think? Whoop. Yep, so that's the first one. So say, ah, ah, ah. can you listen, honey? Okay, say first, which first. is the first one he jumped on. Okay, what lily pad is the second one he jumped on? That. Yeah, okay. 
Um, what is the third one he jumped on? That. The fourth one? That. And that. the fifth one. Okay, very good. I want you to count the items below and then draw tally marks on the green box for each group of items. Do you remember how to draw tally marks? Yep. Yep, okay. So wait a second. Count how many dragonflies there are. How many dragonflies are in there? One, two, three, four, five. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Can you draw five? How do you draw five tally marks? Two, three, four, four. Yep, that's well. Well done. Good job. You draw it across. Very good. All right, how many frogs are there? One, two, three. three. Is there only three? Yep. See? Try again. One, two, three, four. Oh. Yeah. Four. Okay. Four tally marks for four frogs down this one. One, two, three, four. Very good. Okay. Lily pads. How many lily pads are there? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Draw five tally marks. Oh. Well done. Okay, and how many cattails? Mm. These are cattails, these things here. One, two, wait, do, these are at the lagoon. Yes, they, they are at like the lagoon. They look like little so hot dogs. <laughs> they do look like little hot dogs, like fluffy hot dogs. One, two. Just two, hey? Yeah. Okay, drew two tally marks. One, two. Well done. That was the end of your math. You did all your math. Good job. This is one page. Yeah, well, it was two pages. It was that page and that page. So that was a whole math lesson done. It usually takes us like 10 minutes or less to get through one. Um, and everything you need is in there. Like all, everything written in blue. I'm going to try and get that to focus for you. Anything written in blue, which you can see there, is for the, ch the parent to read to themselves. And everything written in black is for you to read to the child. Can so you've got all your instructions there. Um, it's super straightforward. It's very quick and easy and just like fun and playful, which I really enjoy. Yep, you can have a drink of water. Um, so yeah, that is a lesson in Level K Math from The Good and the Beautiful. We're into our eighth week using it now and really enjoying it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Annie, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? Bye. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love?